Welcome to our new video. Zorin OS has been our recommended Linux-based operating system for some time, but now, after a new release of Ubuntu DDE was out the other day, they've been in a dilemma which distribution to choose, because both of these look very appealing. Stay with us! We decided to compare those two operating systems in six categories – their respective base, software availability, their maintenance tools, workflow, customization and finally speed and resource usage. Let's dive in! Zorin OS 16, the latest release of the operating system as of the time of recording this video, is based on Ubuntu 20.04.3 long-term support version, which means that Zorin OS 16 will receive updates and security fixes until at least April 2025. On the other hand, Ubuntu with the Deepin Desktop Environment, or Ubuntu DDE 21.10, is based on Ubuntu 21.10, which is supported for 9 months until July 2022. Zorin OS 16 is famous for offering users applications from various sources. If you open its software app, you'll see it's packed with applications. So, for instance, Shotcut, a very popular free and open source video editor, is offered in the Flatpak software format, containing sandboxed and regularly updated applications. It's also offered as a native program from the official Ubuntu repositories, and you can install it from the Snap software store as well, which is another platform containing sandboxed and regularly updated apps. Its counterpart in Ubuntu DDE is also full of apps. However, their source is not as clearly stated as in Zorin OS 16. Take, for instance, Audacity, a well-known audio editing program. A user can't figure out whether the app in question is from the official Ubuntu repositories or from some other place. Still, we assume Audacity is from the official repositories. On the official Ubuntu DDE features page, it's said that Ubuntu DDE is a fusion of the Ubuntu-based system and deep in desktop environment. Users also have the Snap platform at their disposal. If you check it out in the command line, no snaps are pre-installed, but the platform is there and it's available. Flatpak support is not installed by default in Ubuntu DDE. Both these Linux distributions, being based on Ubuntu one way or the other and consequently on Debian, support the use of the portable app image format and the native .deb format, which is something similar in usage to Microsoft's .exe format. Both these operating systems come preloaded with many tools for their maintenance. If you wouldn't like to mess with the command line, in Zorin OS 16 you can make use of its Settings app, which is the first stop. There you can manage users, then things like displays or printers and many other things. The next tool is called Software and Updates, where users can edit software sources or check for additional drivers. Another great tool in Zorin OS 16 is Synaptic Package Manager, a classic graphical package installer for Debian-based operating systems. We use it regularly for uninstalling apps installed from the repositories or via .deb format. And also, there's the utility category, where users can find several very useful tools, such as System Monitor, Backups, Disks and so on. Ubuntu DDE also offers a neatly organized settings app, where you can manage many aspects of your system. As in Zorin OS 16, Ubuntu DDE manages updates via specific software updater. And it also offers the software and updates app, like many other Ubuntu-based distributions. Synaptic Package Manager is there too. Likewise, if you need additional tools in Ubuntu DDE, you can find them in the System category within the Start menu. 
Zorin OS 16 and Ubuntu DDE offer a familiar and intuitive workflow. Zorin OS 16 is famous for its Zorin Appearance app. In the core version of Zorin OS, users can choose between four different layouts, including two Windows-like layouts. The third layout, for instance, which is designed for touchscreens, comes with the applications dock at the bottom of the screen, then with workspaces that can be accessed by pressing the super key and a full screen app grid. Zorin OS is a nice and clean and very polished operating system and there you can customize its file manager behavior as well. Ubuntu DDE also comes with a dock at the bottom of the screen and several apps are pinned in the middle too. The dock can be customized of course regarding its content and position on the screen. Ubuntu DDE has an excellent way of handling multiple open apps. Its workspaces view is very clearly organized and it enables users to manage several apps easily. In addition to that, if you don't like the default start menu which offers apps in categories, you can expand it and then it becomes something very similar to Zarin's full screen app grid. Again, everything looks nice and clean and very familiar. In Zorin OS 16, you can customize some parts of the user interface. In the Zorin Appearance app, you can change the desktop theme, accent colors, elements of the interface, desktop and fonts. Additionally, Zorin OS 16 comes preloaded with several high-quality wallpapers. On the other side, in Ubuntu DDE, users can also customize their build via the Settings app within the Personalization section. Similar to Zorin OS 16, there you can choose between highly polished light, auto and dark themes. In addition to that, you can change accent colors, icon themes, cursor themes and fonts. And finally, Ubuntu DDE offers an excellent set of high quality wallpapers out of the box. As far as resource consumption is concerned, we have filmed the Zorin OS's performance on a cold boot. Its system monitor app shows that Zorin OS uses between 1.1 and 1.2 GBs of RAM, but still the system is very performant and responsive, with no lags or glitches. When it comes to Ubuntu DDE performance, our experience with it was smooth and satisfying. So, both systems are responsive, well-made and polished. We really cannot decide which one has the edge. What's your opinion? Which one is better? Tell us in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching the video and see you next time.